Hey everybody, I'm back again. Now, it's been like almost an entire month since I've uh, I've done a video. And if you keep up with my stuff, then you know why. But if you don't, then here's the explanation. Pretty much, um, I was very sick around my last video that I uploaded. I was very sick, but it, it, it went away. And at the same time, um, it's spring and I get spring allergies. And I don't get the standard <laughs> spring allergies. I get the really fucked up spring allergies. That, um, like, for example, uh, when I used to live in Pennsylvania, um, we, were, we lived a, in an area where there was a lot of trees and stuff. And every time spring came around, it would be so bad that me and my mom would always be in the hospital. We wouldn't, we, like, this was, this was when I used to go to school when she wouldn't even go to work. That's how bad it used to be for us out there. Out here now in New York, it's not as bad, but I still didn't want to upload any videos or make any videos because I'm not going to record myself sounding like, uh, hey guys, what's up? So I'm not, I'm not going to do that. But now I'm back. It's still spring, but spring is almost gone. And with, with spring slowly leaving, my allergies are slowly getting better. And, you know, qu quite a lot has happened since uh, I last made a video. Uh, I got myself a PlayStation 4. If you've, you you probably know, because I actually did upload, like, two Dark Souls 3 videos, actually. Yeah, I got myself a PlayStation 4. I'm not going to record anything PS4 yet. Maybe Black Ops 3 multiplayer whenever I play with my friend. But because um, I'm still recording Sly. I'm still recording uh, Tales of Symphonia 2. And now that I'm back, I'm better. I'm going to start doing that stuff again. <clears throat> but I figure I come back with some news, with like some new, some new stuff. Re on my little, uh, I guess you could call it hiatus, hiatus. Uh, I did, I didn't just lay down in bed. I didn't just, you know, watch TV or anything. I was bored. I really had any animes to watch. All I've been watching is um, Dragon Ball Super and Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc Five. Because all the other animes I've been watching is um, is over. Oh, and uh, I forgot about the the new Maggie. Even though I've seen the OVA. Yeah, the Sinbad Maggie anime. Not the OVA version, the anime. I've been watching that too. Um, and I will review that. Don't get me wrong. I will review that because I do like Maggie. But uh, And I also started watching an anime that I've heard a lot of people talk about. I've, it's, almost, you know, it's almost referenced in like a lot of YouTube videos. There's a lot of memes about it. All that shit. The anime I'm going to review today is... um. It's uh, it's a big anime because there's multiple parts to this anime, but uh, we're gonna review part one today, part one and part two. So uh, today I'm going to review to you all JoJo's Bizarre Adventure: Phantom Blood and JoJo's Bizarre Adventure: Battle Tendency. Now this is the 2012 version. I've never seen the old school JoJo's. I only watched the new ones, and I, I was you know Japanese. The re what what got me into the JoJo series is when um when the new one recently came out. I saw like clips of it and everything on YouTube. And the more I kept watching, like the clips, the more I came, the more I got interested into the uh, the series. And I decided, you know, I'm gonna watch uh, episode four at the time. It was episode four of the new one. I decided to watch it. If I liked it, I'm gonna watch the JoJo series. If I don't like it, then I'm gonna just drop it. And you know, I liked it. I liked the episode, and that I decided I'm gonna watch the JoJo series. So well, let's start off with JoJo's Bizarre Adventure: Phantom Blood. Phantom Blood is the shortest of the series. It starts off with um, Jonathan Joestar's dad in like a, a carriage crash. I guess you could call it. He fell off a cliff. His wife died next to him. His son was like a baby. He was crying. His son survived. But there was also a mask there that uh, looked very strange. And along the way, you see um, a guy named Dario Brando and his wife, who looked too good for him, honestly. <laughs> he... The guy, his wife thought, oh, are you going to help these people? And the guy was like, no, I'm not going to help these people. I'm going to let them die. I'm going to steal all their stuff. So he starts to steal the stuff. But then Joseph, I mean, Jonathan's dad wakes up. And Jonathan's like, oh, are you here to rescue me? And he's like, oh, yeah, 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 I'm here to rescue you. And, well, pretty much that kicks off all the events. All the events get kicked off by those two characters where Dario saves Jonathan. And Jonathan tells him, thank you for saving my life. I mean, not Jonathan, Jonathan's dad. Thank you for saving my life. If there's anything I can ever do to you, just let me know do for you just let me know and he's like oh there's one thing and then fast forward into the future we got a teenage jonathan i think 15 uh 16 years old and then we got dario brando who's slowly dying in bed he's very sick and you got his son dio who looks evil as fucking hell <laughs> i mean damn 
His so and then like Dario's dying, so Dario tells Dio get go to the Joestar Mansion, give this letter to the the George Joestar. I think that's what his name was. And he'll he'll know what to do. So the Dio's dad dies. Dio goes to the mansion on a carriage. Jonathan meets Dio. Jonathan's like, "Hi, my name my name's Jonathan. Are you Dio here? Let's shake hands." Dio looks at Jonathan. Dio grabs Jonathan's hand, fucking suplexes him. I well, I'm trying to remember. Fucking grabs him or something. I don't know. I, it was too. It was so much going on. And then Jonathan's dog comes in. Jonathan's dog comes running at Dio, all happy and stuff. And Dio kicks the shit out of his dog. <laughs> There's so much to say about the JoJo series, which I, I will get to shortly. But I'm not going to go much like super in, into uh, Phantom Blood. That's the first episode that I just described. Phantom Blood is pretty good. Phantom Blood, as you can tell by the name, it's uh, it's based on vampires. Like, both Phantom Blood and Battle Tennessee are based on uh, vampires. And then, like, the other series aren't. Pretty much, um, the mask, Dio, like, you know... You can tell right away. I'm not even going to... It's not even going to be a spoiler. You can tell right away from looking at Dio. He's... He's the fucking bad guy. <laughs> they make sure, episode one, they fucking make sure that you, the viewer, know. You know that Dio is the fucking bad guy. Because, <laughs> my God. Like, I fell in love with the JoJo series. Like, the, the new ep episode four of the new one, and then the first episode of Phantom Blood. I was like, holy crap, what the fuck am I watching? But that's enough about Phantom Blood. Ah, uh, Phantom Blood. If I was to rate it, Phantom Blood's very good. It's uh, it takes place in like England, like the late English era or something like that. But the only thing uh, I honestly didn't like about it was how short it was, which you know it's not the guy's fault or the girl's fault. Whoever created JoJo, uh, Phantom Blood is the shortest of the series. And then now we fast forward into Battle Tendency, where the main character is Joseph Joestar, Jonathan Joestar's grandson or great grandson, something like that. Joseph Joestar is a uh, he's what you call a funky character, like he. He likes to fool around and all that stuff. Honestly, Battle Tendency, because I've, I've seen all the JoJo's and I'm currently watching the new one. Battle Tendency is right now so far my favorite of the JoJo series. Because Battle Tendency um, has a lot of action. It's very funny. And it, honestly, it's pretty cool. <laughs> it starts off with Joseph Joestar saving a... I forgot his name. Saving a, a black guy in an alleyway. I don't remember his name. Damn it. Um, cause the, the, the cops were like harassing him because you got to remember this takes place back then. So like cops were still racist to like, um, different skinned people. So it was two fat white cops. Well, one fat white cop, one, I think like, I don't know, Hispanic looking cop. They cornered the black guy and you know, they're being racist to him and everything. But at the same time, he's a thief. And so Joseph comes in, saves the day. The cops are like, back the fuck off. The fat cop picks his nose, flicks his booger at Joseph's face. Just wipes on his face like, yeah, you like that? <laughs> and then Joseph's like, oh, you know what? Leave him alone. Because uh, the, the black guy stole Joseph's wallet. And um, the cops saw him do it. And Joseph, trying to save the guy, said, oh, that, no, he didn't steal my wallet. That's his wallet. He, I, I forgot to give it to him and stuff. And so the cops didn't believe him. The cops were ready to shoot at him. Joseph says, go on, bring it on. Shoot at me. Go ahead. By the time you shoot at me, I'm going to break your nose and I'm going to break your finger. And so the guy, Joseph punches the guy in the nose. He has a soda bottle in it. He has a bottle of soda in his hand. Flips the cap. The cap breaks the cop's finger. And then, you know, there. Now, I'm not going to go much into Battle Tendency because I, I can't really explain um, the first episode because the first episode honestly does have a lot of spoilers. But as I said before, Battle Tendency, uh, I really do like it. There's nothing uh, bad I find about it. And it's honestly the, my favorite of the JoJo series. And the JoJo series is pretty long. It's pretty long. like Because Phantom Blood and Battle Tendency 2012 versions, they're combined as one series. It's not like Phantom Blood, then you got to go look for Battle Tendency. No, Phantom Blood and Battle Tendency are one just like series. And then you got um Stardust Crusaders, I think. And then the new one, which is Diamond Unbreakable. Now, uh, that Stardust Crusaders, I'll review another time because I have, I have seen Stardust Crusaders. But I'm going to leave you all with just um, Phantom Blood and Battle Tendency. So, you know, would I recommend somebody to watch it? Uh, if you, uh, here's my thing. If you like Hunter x Hunter, not the English dub because right now it's being dubbed and the dub sounds horrible. 
Not the English dub. I don't know. The old school one and the new school one, yeah. Um, if you like Hunter x Hunter, I think you would like JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Because JoJo's Bizarre Adventure um, kind of reminds me of Hunter x Hunter. How it gets really serious, but at the same time, it also has humor in it. And it, it's honestly a good series where Dio... Like, I'm just going to say straight out, Dio's the bad guy of the first one. Dio is the problem. Dio's the bad guy in pretty much all of them. Because Dio's the bad guy in the first one. He's not He's not in the second one, but he influences. Like, the characters get um obsessed by Dio as time goes by. And so Dio pretty much, you know, he, he causes all the events, whether, whether he, um, he knows about it or not. But... Would I recommend you to watch it? Yeah, you know, go for it. It's honestly a good series in my opinion. You can check out the old school version. I watched, I saw the 2012 version. I didn't see, or the 2000 version, whatever it was called. I didn't see the old school version. And, you know, I really did enjoy it. So I'm going to leave you all with, like, your opinions on stuff. You can go ahead, comment down below what you think about the JoJo series and all that stuff. But until next time, uh, it's really hot and my throat's kind of getting messed up because of the allergies right now. So I will see you all next time in the next video I do. Until then, have a great day and so long. Bye-bye.